Good afternoon, it's Natalie Zangon with another video for today. So today I wanted to do a video regarding attitude. That's right, attitude. Our attitude to the world, to how we see things, to how we perceive things really impacts how we feel and our sensation. If we were brought up in a home that was filled with criticism, negativity, anxiety, nervousness, we wake up in the morning repeating the same routine. Like I keep saying, remember, what's familiar feels safe. But what's familiar does not necessarily mean it's healthy. What's familiar means how I was brought up in my home to look at situations, to look at circumstances, to look at the life is the way that I think is the normal way to do it because that's what I was exposed to during my childhood, just like the mother tongue language, right? Unless I am exposed to a different language, then I have um, English is my second language and my mother tongue language is Farsi. Actually, English will be my third language because after Farsi, I learned Hebrew first. So language is a very good example for us to know how we relate to the world emotionally. So what's familiar to us, whether it makes us nervous or calm, a lot of it comes from what we learned during childhood and growing up. Our mom, or the main caregiver who was your father, they set up the blueprint of what's safe, what's not, what's okay, what isn't. So if my mother, for whatever reason, is afraid of dogs where she, which she was, and anytime we came next to a dog, she pulled them away because she thought it wasn't um, a good idea to be next to the dog. So I grow up thinking automatically that dogs are not safe, right? Until I came to a point that my friend exposed me gradually to a dog and I realized actually there is nothing wrong with them, right? How does fear happen? It's usually either by something that happened to me directly or a story I heard about it, like my mom told me a story about it, or I saw it happen. Most children come into this world not having fears except there are some studies that they say kids have a fear of height. But every other fear you have in your life right now was learned, right? You were not born with this fear. You were not brought into this world having fear. Fear is like the alarm system that tells you, watch out, watch out, don't get close. Unless you take a moment and delve within yourself and say, where was that fear picked up from? Is it helping me or is it hurting me? Is it um, encouraging me to grow or is it hindering me? So sometimes people have fear of swimming, fear of the dark, fear of being home alone, fear of strangers, fear of um, dogs, fear of cats, fear of snow, fear of airplane, fear of, fear of going on the freeway. Slow down and tell yourself, where did it come from? Who taught me that this is something to be afraid of? And then question for yourself, is it helping me or not? Is it serving me good or it's not? And the more you take a moment and look within yourself, the better you will find out where it comes from. Mo most of the fears, it gets collected in our implicit memory, which is the right hemisphere where we hold emotion. So our body and our nervous system gets activated because one day in our life, we told ourselves this is dangerous. So when it smells like it, when it looks like it, when it feels like it, our body immediately gets worked up. This also happens with emotional interaction. If during your childhood, let's say you weren't given enough attention, if you were pushed aside, if you were not recognized. So you're immediately going to a defensive mode of survival because it's something that feels nerve wracking or uncomfortable or not a good feeling. And you go into being annoyed by the people in your life that minutely resemble that, not realizing that this was a message you gave yourself during the childhood in your life. So what you could do to reverse that is hold on, right? Instead of going from park to um, drive, think of a stick shift car, hold on, tell yourself, should I go forward? Should I deal with this? 
Is it about me or is it about them? Or do I need to reverse, go back and see where it came from instead of driving your life on autopilot and attacking everyone that's bringing these things up for you? Slow down, pause, and look within yourself. Many times we attract the wrong people, the wrong friends, the wrong situations because of voids and limitations we put on ourselves. Unless you stop, slow down and look into everything that's familiar, everything that you became nervous about, every defense that you put up, unless you go deep within and see where it comes from, you're not going to live your life to its full capacity, which you could once you're able to look and go on the emotional elevator and look within you and see when was it that you made those decisions with yourself that this is not safe. This is dangerous. Look within yourself. Ask yourself questions. Journal about it. And look, see where it came from. Because everything that's familiar and feels safe doesn't necessarily mean it's healthy and it's serving you. Thank you so much for watching. This is Natalie Zangon. You can follow me on my YouTube channel. I also have books, thank God, that I published on Amazon under Natalie Zangon. And I have podcasts that you could Google and find more about me and what I do. Thank you so much for giving me your time for listening to this video. And if you found it helpful, make sure to share it and subscribe. Good night.